Hi there, this is Rach from Square Stylist. And on this video, I would like to give you an overview of the Squarespace Mecca Menu course. The course is project based and will have three main projects. But all throughout the course, I'll give you insights on how you can customize elements of the menu so you can achieve any design you have in mind. So our first project is the pop-out menu. This is the one that we'll recreate, but it can also be really as simple as this one. It can coexist with your current navigation menu, and it can also be as complex as this one because we can add any blocks, a summary block, a gallery block, or even a code block if, if you wanna embed something on the menu. Our second project is the multiple mega menu. You can create as many mega menu as you want. Um, mega menu is ideal if you have a lot of categories or if you want to showcase different pages in your website in a more orderly way. This is the design that we'll recreate as well as this one. I'll walk you through how easy it is to add four or five more. <laughs> I'll also give you some CSS tricks like how to add background elements on the corners of our mega menu. Our third project is the mobile mega menu. So this is also um, a way to organize your content. You can add subcategories. You can also add photos that lead to other pages. And this course is applicable to both 7.0 Brine, so any template within the Brine family of templates in 7.0, and this is also applicable to all templates in Squarespace 7.1. So upon purchase of the course, you'll have access to two modules. One is for 7.0 and one is for 7.1. I want to walk you through how easy it is to install. So. For a pop-out menu, so we have two pop-out menus. One is on the left and one is on the right. You can activate either or both by creating pages. So if you create pop one with the correct URL slug, then you can you will act you will be able to activate the first menu. And if you add the page pop two you'll be able to activate the second one. It can also be that if you don't want the pop two to appear, then just we can just use the pop one or either way will work. So I'll also teach you how to move this hamburger menu around if you want it to be at the center or at the right side of the viewport. Next is how to add, how to create the mega menu. So this is a demo of the mega menu. This is the second one. And it's quite easy to install because you just need to add a folder item on your navigation. And then we just need to make sure it's URL slog is correct. And then if you create a page with a correct URL slog, you just need to add all the elements that you want right here in this page. So this is a gallery block. These are just texts and it can add more blocks as needed. So you can easily edit the content of these and you just need to refresh your browser and all the changes will be reflected. So for the about, for example, for this about page, all, all I all I need to do was to create this mega about and add a summary block as well as links and photos. You can add more by just adding a folder item and another page. So it is very easy for you to edit. And if you are a designer and you'd like your client to have the liberty to edit the mega menu and it'll be really easy for them to edit it by themselves. So that's the overview of the Squarespace Mega Menu course. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to reach out.